great pleasure in introducing you to the director of Dead Snow, Tommy Wakola. It's been released in Norway so far only. We're being released in Sweden and Finland and Denmark pretty soon, I think. Yeah. But normally, Norwegian films doesn't do well in Sweden. They hate us for some reason. <laughs> I've always been a big fan of zombie movies, and we thought, okay, what can we do? That's different, and I realized that we made a couple of zombie movies, not the zombies movies before, but we thought that we can do a little, you know, better and uh, modernize it a little bit. So, so what's more evil than a, a zombie and not a zombie, of course? In cool news, there was a big debate whether our zombies should walk or run, but we thought of it this way, you know, it's a Nazi first, then a zombie. So what? What's a Nazi? They're fast, you know, British Creek, and they work in groups and packs. So we kind of felt our zombies had to reflect the Nazi part of it. We were careful that we didn't tip too much over into comedy, so it would become a parody. That was the, our main concern. And, uh, but we, we, we think we pulled it off. For someone who doesn't know anything about Croft and Rock, how would you describe it? i describe it as uh, not so much a horror, but rather a uh, cerebral psychological thriller. Probably there's some kind of psychopath down inside me somewhere that I hope never actually comes out, for your sake. Depending on the script, I wouldn't mind doing another horror. Um, it was a lot of fun. And you know, first film, but I played a villain, and everyone wants to, everyone wants to play a villain. And um, if I could, if I could do drama, but I really want to do comedy. It's Sunday night at Pride Fest, and that only means one thing: it's the Adam Girash slot. This is. I did my best to channel my 17-year-old horny punk rock self. When I was 17, this is the movie that I would have wanted to see. I thought it played well. I mean, I'm at, I mean, I don't. I mean, I can't tell. Of course, I wish people were like getting up and dancing and being wild, but then again. But that would also be a little weird. That'd be a little weird. Yeah. yeah. Be honest. What's he like as a director? Oh, God, do I really have to be honest? <laughs> I was so thrilled to work with him and come out the opposite end and just uh, have the experience of working with him. He's a really cool guy. Do you want, do you want to ask anything? Anything at all. Hit the car. Uh. <laughs> what are you moving to 9 o'clock in there? No, that's dread. This was Night of the Demons. You just, you just missed uh, Was it good? No. In honor of Joe Lynch, fuck you. <laughs> And, uh, he had made, I think, one movie. Have you made more than one movie, Joe? No! <laughs> yeah, he made this one movie, Wrong Turn 11. <laughs> and he, like, comes on like Eric von Stroheim. Yeah, Landis, that fucking cocksucker. If you think Tarantino has a big ego, you have not met Joe Lynch. You can bleep that. You can bleep out Landis and keep cocksucker. I was offered this movie. What's it called? The Night of the the Knights of Bad Asta. A heavy metal horror adventure. I said, I'm not your guy, but I know someone, a young guy you can exploit. What's great about having Landis kind of endorse the movie is that the tone of the film is very much American Werewolf in London. I recommended Joe and he got the job and he starts shooting in October. Don't fuck this up, Joe. <laughs> You're welcome. What are you looking forward to? The uh, film of the year, we're hoping, uh, Human Centipede, which I hear is uh, amazing and 100% medically accurate. God, I hope so. It's true. I uh, designed uh, the Human Centipede construction together with a famous Dutch uh, surgeon. So we sat together and how can we make this 100% medically accurate? If a surgeon is in, in, uh, in the audience, they could do this at home. <laughs> It's a very twisted story about three people who become a human centipede. They are uh, attached to each other, uh, the mouth to ass part, and they, uh, yeah, they feed the first one, and then the digestion system continues. Please welcome to the stage the front and the uh, ass of the human centipede. <laughs> Honestly, I've done such a bad job at telling people about it because I've just said, I did this film and it's a little controversial and it's where three people are sewn together. And they always think like it's three people sewn like shoulder to shoulder. And then when I tell them, oh, it's actually ass to mouth, then they freak out. It's a very sick film, we know that. <laughs> this uh, casting director told me, hey, read the script first before you want to do this, you know. And I was like, I read it. And I'm like, you know, there's a part where I, I put in lady's mouth. I was like, yo, man, this is a crazy movie. Should I do this? Of course I should do this. A lot of actors and actresses were very angry at me. They walked out during uh, uh, casting sessions and stuff. We uh, did a casting together. So I put them all three uh, on their hands and knees and watched if they have uh, the same height because otherwise it wouldn't uh, be perfect, of course. The audition process to going to Holland to shoot the film, it all happened within like a two month period, so you just had to muster up the courage to say, hey, I'm going to be attached to your butt, let's have fun. <laughs> Ashley had a really hard time being in the middle, but the staircase scene was the worst for me because I had the pressure of two people's 
butts on my jaw. So, um, but uh, no, it was it was not that bad actually. They made it quite comfortable. I know I was never going to get the opportunity again to do a movie like this, where I am so vulnerable and exposed. And when am I going to get my face onto someone's butt? <laughs> it's part of uh, of a double feature. Uh, part two is uh, the human centipede full sequence. Then I want to extend the story, attach 12 people, and that's going to be where in part one I hold back, I now will uh, go wild. All I got to say is when I read the description and it, and, it's, and it had the words anus and lips, I went, you had me at anus and lips. <laughs>